Hello and welcome to this AgriData Inc. tutorial video. In this video, we will be covering how to use the export functions within the Surety and Surety Pro customized online mapping software. The export functions allow us to take what we see on the map and turn it into a file type that is compatible with other GIS programs as well as certain navigation devices. Let's start off with setting up our map and determining what is going to export when we use the export function. In front of us we see a few different types of boundaries. We have a couple drawn boundaries up in the northeast corner here. We have a saved border within the Surety Pro system indicated in the green outline. We have the yellow FSA fields which is available within Surety and Surety Pro. And we have a custom layer, in this case a chemical form, that can also be exported using the export function. Currently, if I were to use the export option, it would just export the drawn boundaries, since I don't have any other things selected on the map. When using the selection tool, we can designate one or more specific things to export. So I'm going to select my large drawing, drawn border, and an FSA boundary. One thing to note is that when you place a selection on top of a drawn boundary, it will select the drawn boundary and not the FSA borders underneath it. We can also include the custom layer by left clicking and dragging while we have the selection tool highlighted. And once we release, it will ask us what we want to select from our designated area that we included in the box. Using the drop down, we can select our custom layer, or in this case, the chemical form. As we can see, it puts a red X in that field and is now ready to export. From here, we can either go to the file drop down, export and current map, or simply use the export link in the right panel. The export page offers us six different options. The first option is the SHP or the shape file. This is an Esri file and it'll take the boundaries that we've selected and export those as a vector file. We can rename the names of the exported file by changing the output file name. The next option is also an Esri shape file, but this time it includes all the soil boundaries within the selected borders. To see what is going to export, cancel this. I'm going to go to my layers panel and expand my other category in order to bring up my soils layer. These orange boundaries are the soil boundaries within each of these selected boundaries and that is what we'll export using that second option within our export page. It'll bring with it all the attributes associated with the soil, such as the name, the class, any productivity indexes, and more. Third option is our georeference JPEG image of the current view. This will export what we see in front of us, and it'll include file types in order to make it available to import into other GIS programs and place it accurately on the map. Fourth option is a very similar to the GeoReference JPEG. It's the GeoTIFF image of the current view, and it's just a different format that is compatible with many other GIS programs. Fifth option is our SATLOCK job file. This is specific for a SATLOCK device used by aerial applicators, and it'll include the polygons of what we have selected. For the output file name, if you are using a SATLOCK device that is older than a G4, we want to use a file name of 1 through 999. Otherwise, if you have a G4 or newer, then you can use any file name that you'd like here. If you have a G4 and have the wireless transfer set up, we can use the wireless transfer link in order to select what asset or plane or a helicopter we want to transfer this automatically to. The fourth column on the right here is the direct download link. This will skip the export process and just simply download the SATLOCK job file as a single file. 
instead of placing it into a compressed zip folder. The final option is our KML uh, of the selected or drawn borders. So it's going to be, again, another vector file in the KML format. These are commonly used in Google products, such as Google Earth. Of course, we can rename the output file name, as well as directly download this KML. We can select multiple options and then click our export option. This will package the data into a compressed zip file and allow us to just download the zip file by clicking on the link. It will assign a random number and allow us to rename the zip file itself. If we open that zip file, we can see the different types of files that we had included in our export page, such as the shape files, the TIFF, and the KML. Another export feature that we have within Surety and Surety Pro is the ability to export our client list. So in Surety Pro, we can see our client list in the upper right panel. Uh, in Surety, it is only available within the forms itself, but we can export that list as a tab delimited file by going to File, Export, and clicking on Client List. From here, it's just a simple click to download the file and save it to your computer or device. Again, this will include the client names addresses, phone numbers, and whatever else is stored within that client record. It will not include any boundary files or form information. That concludes our tutorial video on exporting from the Surety and Surety Pro systems. If you'd like to find out more on exporting, you can go up to the help drop down and click on support to access our support page. Uh, click on Surety Features and find the Export Current Map or Export Client List options. Make sure to subscribe to the AgriData Inc. YouTube channel to keep up on all of our latest tutorial videos.